adding students and classes. There are actually more than a few ways to get students into your roster, which can be found under the Students tab. One way is to use Google Classroom. Click here, sign into Google Classroom, and Legends of Learning will automatically import your students and classes into the Students tab. You don't have to use Google Classroom, though, if you don't want to. And if you are a premium school or district, uh, Legends of Learning will have already taken care of your rostering or will soon be taking care of your rostering. And if you have Clever or Classlink, Schoology, etc., then students will click from that system to log into Legends of Learning. But if I want to add students manually to my roster, I can click here to Students. I can click Add Student. I can add their name. A username is automatically generated. If I want, I can create a password for the student. I don't have to create a password, though. The first time the student comes to Legends of Learning and enters this username, if they don't have a password, they'll be prompted to create one at that point. If I have classes, or what we call groups set up, I can add the user to a group. I'll show you how to set up a group right after I create this student. So when I click Create, it says the student's been created. I can add more students if I want. If I close this, I see the student that I just added in my student's roster. To create a class, or what we call a group, just click on the Groups button and then add the group. Once my group is added, I can add any students in my students roster to that group or class. If you don't want to go through the hassle of setting up all your students in the student tab, don't worry. As you saw, if you had watched the create an assignment tutorial, you can give your students that the assignment using a direct to assignment link. And when your students sign up using that link, they will automatically be added to this roster. Also, if you use the instructions to allow your students to find an assignment by using your teacher code, which is that code that's up here in the upper right, when again, when the student signs up for the first time, they will be automatically added to your roster. So you don't have to set all this up in advance if you don't want to. And in fact, after the students sign up, you can create these groups or classes and add students to groups or classes later.